Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobelman. In today's video, we take a look at a call handling for a help desk tier one, in which case user has a slow computer. I will show you the call handling and I will show you what I did to resolve the issue as well. Friends, if you have a one second, please click the like button. I really appreciate it this way. I'm not going to bother you with any ads at this point. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. So let's get to it. I'm going to play the call and at certain times I will pause the call itself and show you what I'm doing on the backhand in order to help this user. This was going to be a fun video guys. Let's get into it right away. Thank you for calling Help Desk Tier 1 Support. Uh, my name is Irvin. How can I help you today? Hi, my computer is running really slow. Is there something you can help me with this? For some reason it's just so slow today that I can't do anything. No matter what I do, everything, everything is really slow. Sure thing. Uh, what, what's going on? When did you start having this issue? It started happening this morning. It was fine yesterday, and then today, for some reason, it's just very, very sluggish. I can't do anything. I really need this uh, to be fixed so I can do my job. All right, no problem. I can have a look uh, to see what's going on. Can you give me your PC name? My PC name? Uh... Yeah, it should be it should be under your PC information, or even there might be a, a sticker uh, on your computer or something like that. That it'll be either combinations of numbers or letters. If you can give me that, please, I'd appreciate it. Sure, I think I see it here. Um, it says T M C three five six five eight three zero. All right, thank you very much for that. Uh, sir, do you mind if I uh, take control over your computer just for a moment? I want to see what is going on and see if we can uh, uh, figure out what's causing this issue for you. Sure, go ahead. All right, let's pause the phone call just for a second here. So the user is talking about a slow computer. So it's a slow computer situation. So what is the major reason for a slow computer? In a business environment, most of the time when a computer is slow, it's because of an update. So let's get a look at the updates that we can look up here. And we're going to just type in updates and check for Windows updates. And sure enough, guys, we have some pending restarts for an update for a Windows 10 update. So what typically happens is that Windows tries to update or the computer itself tries to update overnight but for some reason it's not able to do so when the computer is not being used meaning that it tries to do this in after hours when the computer is not being used but chances are if the computer was turned off shut down asleep or any of those reasons it probably couldn't install these updates so now we got to get back to the user and let them know that this is what was the cause of this and explain to them what we can do to resolve this issue of course, if your company has a specific tool that pushes updates to your computer, you would also check that to see if anything failed because it's not just Windows updates that could be causing this, but updates for other software and chances are uh, there is a different way to control that within the company that you work for. You would, it would be company specific, so you have to check that as well. Other reasons for a slow computer is highly unlikely in a business environment. You know, for example, like not enough RAM, this and that that that's not usually what happens in a business that's something that home computers may have issues with for a business type of computer they're going to be up to spec and the main reason for it to be in slow is updates of course there's another reason you know being a virus but getting a virus in a business environment is so unlikely it's unbelievable so updates main thing let's get back to the customer and tell him about that all right sir so what i found is that uh, you were, your computer was trying to get updates, but it's not able to. So at this time, we need to reboot your computer so you can finish uh, Windows updates. This typically happens whenever uh, your computer is either asleep and it can't get a chance to get its updates overnight. Usually, computers get updates overnight when people are not working during, um, you know, after hours where you know it's not a you know peak business hours or anything like that. So, but sometimes when the computer is asleep or turned off or if it's shut down, uh, it may not be able to get its updates. So what we got to do is just kind of wait for it to finish its updates. And I have a feeling once we reboot it should be done it'll probably be much faster but yeah that's what usually happens and uh, that should resolve your issue so go ahead and reboot and if that uh, if that doesn't work then uh, we can help you further see if that works 
All right, I'll give it a shot. Um, all right, I'll go ahead and reboot now and then see what happens. All right, great. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate that. Okay, looks like I'm. Uh, looks like I can log in now. All right, great. Go ahead and log in, and we'll see how it goes. Now, keep in mind, we just rebooted the computer, so it may be a little bit slow in the beginning, but it should be fine afterwards. Uh, you know, usually when we're rebooting the computer, it kind of clears the memory. So in that case, it may take a little bit just to log in, but afterwards, it should be fine. Okay. All right, I'm logged in. Great. All right, let's see. See if see if uh, see if it's running any better for you here. All right, I'm checking. All right, so far so good. Tell you what, it's definitely faster than it was uh, this morning. I don't. Okay, yeah, it it, it seems to be fine now. So uh, let me see if I can pull up my email and uh, a couple other systems that I use just to make sure before I let you go. Sure thing, no problem, sir. Take your time here. Okay. Okay. I I think I'm good now. Thank you so much. It it's uh I appreciate your help on this. Hey, no problem, sir. Again, you know, sometimes this just happens whenever computers shut down. Uh, the best thing, the best advice I can give you uh is that whenever you're at the end of the day, whenever you're done using the computer, just go ahead and like reboot it or sign off cuz sometimes the computer won't even update properly even if you're signed in to the computer for some reason. But the best thing to do is just to reboot the computer and uh that you know, that should uh, kind of be a, a proactive thing we can do here to kind of prevent this type of thing from happening. All right, right, will do. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. All right, no problem. Have a good day. Thank you for calling uh, Tech Support. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you handle this type of call. I hope you find this very useful. This is a real-world example, guys, so I hope you really do find this useful because this is exactly what's going to happen whenever you do start doing your help desk tier one tech support. And if you like this video, please take a moment to like it, share it with your friends. If you have any questions or just want to say hi, I'll be glad to entertain that in the comments below. Check out my channel. I have a lot more of this type of stuff. Check out my previous video, which is a different situation, but presented in the same way if you like this type of video. And I wish you a wonderful day. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.